I'm just trying to get used to it. Changing my settings. I don't need no action replays. I don't need no after the basket camera cuts. say about these yo absolutely is better right This shit ain't that easy no more.
I ain't get the max points for that though. I'll tell you that shit. He's not hitting no mid ranges. I don't know if I like this shot. Yo. I damn sure don't like this view. How do I change this pitch to B? You motherfuckers need to give me the ball, man. God damn. I'll keep hitting that shit too late. Yeah. Now that shit's going in. But it's late. Hell yeah. yeah this is very good one. Huh? Two different room. Couldn't stand Kevo. Oh, I didn't want to play. Where's the fire? Got a whole bunch of teams. Not a lot of time. This shit is hard. Yeah, everybody. Yo. Yo.
I don't know how to do this shit. <laughs> All right, AI, let's get you still watching too? Oh, that's the considered a difficult shot. So I just gotta get my shot right. Once I get my shot right, I'm good. I gotta go to the green spot, right? This shit is hard though, I ain't gonna lie. I don't like this shot though, I don't wanna use this shot. Shot number 10 or something. I wrote down a whole bunch that I want to use though, but. How long are you up for, Tig? Sixers, god damn it.
Watching this. Congratulations on season five, 2K TV, and it's also the 20th anniversary for NBA 2K. So, no, I want to say. to talk about the new game, and uh, we're going to jump right into it. Like every year, we, we change things across the board, but for people who are new to 2K and for people who have been playing for a while, uh, the controls have all stayed the same. So, you can still shoot with the shot button or with the pro stick, which is the right stick. The right stick, you just you can pull it down and let go when it's at the top of the meter. There's a couple of options for the shot meter this year. Okay, so by default, it's by your hands, like last year. You can put it under your feet, like a lot of people like, or if you wanted to, you can have it on both. Or you can turn it off. So here's it with both on. So you can see it kind of goes into the middle. That's when you want to release the shot when it gets to the middle there. Let's shooting. And what about balance? And just like last year. So okay. you want to hold the sprint button, go toward the basket, and you can press up for a two-hand dunk, press right for a right-handed dunk, or press left for a left-handed dunk. And if you want to get a flashy dunk as you're driving the basket, pull the pro stick down. Another new thing is that you can actually branch out of euro step layups and hop step layups and spin layups and right into dunks. So a player like Giannis on the Kumpo, to do that, you just start a layup, like a euro layup, and then you can hold sprint at the end of it. So I go to the basket, start a euro, then hold the sprint trigger, and then finish. You saw that? Not shooting. Um, passing is still like, just like last year. So the regular pass button will play normal passes. There's a bounce pass button, and there's also an overhead button. And so with the overhead button, if you double tap that, that's how you get the alley-oops. And double tapping the bounce pass button will give you your flashy passes. All right, so those are the basics. Is there anything new and exciting for our users who've gotten the game over and over? Yeah, I think one thing that we really want to show this year is this thing that we're calling TakeOver. We took all the things we loved about our rhythm system, our hot and cold streaks, as well as our badges, and we kind of combined them into this one feature. And the idea is that we take over, any player can kind of take over the game, um, but not everyone can do it through scoring. Maybe it's through rebounding or controlling the defensive side of the ball. So uh, what we did is we, we gave everybody kind of an archetype. And each archetype has a special set of skills and abilities that they unlock as they get hot. See those icons by their feet? Yeah. So those are all the different archetypes that people have. Okay. And so over time you get used to them, there's a slasher, playmaker, rim protector, post scorer, shot creator, sharpshooter, lockdown defender, and glass cleaner. And so for each one of these, when they get hot, they all have different abilities. So it's cool new additions, and we took the 19, it's kind of a game within the game. All right, so all I have is here, is there anything else? Yeah, I think one thing we're also excited to show people this year is um, the play in the playground has kind of been revamped. So for the high level ball handlers this year in the playground, they can do their own specific kind of park size up moves. So to do those, you hold the sprint button and just flick the right stick up. And you can see you'll play this ah. crazy N1 sequence. <laughs> and you can branch out of these like whenever, you know, just like any other size up, like whenever you want to. That's fun. <laughs> um, we also added a bunch of new, it kind of moves out of body ups. As you drive and make contact with the defender, you can do these. So in yeah. this one, he actually does a little, little nutmeg. Drop oh, shit. Thanks, you're ready to go back. They're fun to pull off, and yeah. they're for show boating in the park. Good for our 2K TV Wow top plays of the week. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, also in the playground, a whole suite of new contact dunks, playground-specific dunks, over-the-top stuff. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited for people to show to replays. Well, thank you, Mike, once again for joining us on 2K TV. And I know that we just touched the surface of 2K19, and I'm sure you'll have more for us next time. Mike. 
plenty more to come. And guys, make sure that you check back in because Mike will be on 2K TV all season long with his expert tips. It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Hello. Let's get it, yo. It's grind time. View of downtown Boston on location tonight gives you a great idea of the beauty of this historic city. Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports and as we get ready to start the season in style. Along with Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and Hall of Famer David Aldridge, Kevin Harlan. Boy, do we have a treat for you folks. The big ticket is here! Kevin Garnett in the house. KG, welcome. Man, a lot of people don't know that you actually gave me the name The Big Ticket. You and Kay Hall. Now, we are nearly ready for the tip-off. But first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge, D.A. Thanks very much. Well, uh... Thank you for that, David. You think back to when AI made his debut at the end of last season. Just a whirlwind of time for him, guys. I mean, it must have felt like being dropped onto a moving treadmill. I mean, and being asked to keep pace. I mean, I'm sure AI would... You had so much success as a high school player. In fact, you were on the cover of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> How about that, huh? How about I can see the picture in my mind's eye right now. Okay, that fell in my lap, man. That wasn't something that I was striving for, but who doesn't want to be on the cover of anything? And nonetheless, that's I, and um, I was more than uh, giddy-eyed and glitz or whatever you want to call it. Listen, very special moment for me. A lot of people don't know that you have to get permission to be in certain neighborhoods, and, and, and we got permission to be in, be in the neighborhood. We got the shooter right there in front of Farragut, which is very dear to me because of the transformation and stuff that I have been through and where I was at. You know, that's a, I hold Farragut a very, 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 very special place in my heart, so it was important for me to have it. So on the floor for Boston, Ben Simmons is out there with Wilson Chandler, then it's Dario Saric, then it's Mark Covington, and it's Fultz in at the one spot. Here's Saric, and too long on the shot. Celtics leading by six. Smart passes to Goose. He kicks it to Horford. He's ball booted by Boston. Horford sets a screen for Rozier. Over Fultz, and it's Rozier missing. See, I usually set the plays up for the power forward, but I don't know. Oh. Oh, no, I do that shit. I gotta do it for me, that's okay. Here's Fultz. Out of here, Fultz. And they're starting off the season playing Philadelphia here. They take on a team they knocked out of the playoffs last season in the conference semi. Smart kicks to Horton. They set the screen. Shot clock at six. That's a two from Rogier. Great use of the pitch to create room for the jumper. And now an eight-point Celtic lead. Excellent team basketball. Use the screen to free himself up and drill the jump shot. Look loose. Charge passes to Covington. 
Now here's Colts. Ogier defending. Here's Covington. The 76ers again can't hit it. Celtics leading by eight. And up the court come the Celtics on the play. Hard to believe already they're staring at a double-digit lead, and we've just gotten started. Boy, they have come out strong. They've controlled the pace, asserted their will. Wow. Simmons with it, now guarded by Goose. And Kevin, you were drafted back in 1995, straight out of high school. You ever wonder how your career might have been different had you played some college basketball? When I look at college, I look at college, um, those are people that are going to, if not prepare themselves for something else. I don't want to do that. The same thing at a rapid rate. Doing it through college. Very accelerated rate. Right? Very, Very accelerated rate. Right? Right? Where yes. people was getting in four years, I was probably getting in six months, if not three months, and have to understand and articulate it. And then I got to lock out. I got to understand what all that is. And how far that is. Defensive intimidator, you said? And now I got to strategize from where I'm going to do certain business moves throughout this whole season. And be able to talk to an owner and talk and negotiate and go back and forth within a certain time line. This is all stuff that you don't get in the book. This is all on the ground. Right. You got to learn it and you got to have a passion for it. You can't sit back and let somebody do the job for you. You got to know what it is. It's ready to teach someone something is, is linked to you. So right. Not, it was a process. And you, and, and you enjoyed the process, though, right? Because you're a sponge. You just you absorb so much as from a person watching you go through it. Because I'm a student. Yeah. And you know me. You've been knowing me since yes. I was a kid. You saw my growth. You saw when I started. And the whole new group out on the floor for these Celtics. And Philadelphia <laughs> will go for a different look here. And B, he's checked in for Muscala. Sharich comes in for Johnson. I'm sure. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Robert Covington. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Markel Fultz. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Sharich is the floor with B in the middle. J.J. Reddick is out there with T.J. McConnell. And it's Chandler in at the threesome. Nah, he's straight. Now, here's McConnell. Shot to end this cold run. Rebounded by Goose. Well, you think back to AI's first game in the NBA and the situation he came into. Team on the verge of the playoffs, but sadly, they couldn't get it done. Well, I can't. You were breaking up, yo. Everything he could in his chance, but it, it just wasn't in the cards for that team. As hard as taking a loss in that game might have been, I think it matured everyone on that roster. You live and learn. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, guys, Brett Brown coached the Sixers team through some really lean years. Now, the promise started to show last season, but he said, I don't feel close to the notion that we've arrived. I'm hardened, just doing my job and moving forward. Kevin? And continuing the process, DA, thanks. The thing that maybe puts me in awe more than any other skill is the way Kyrie Irving can change gears. This guy has a variety of ways to attack and keep defenses off balance. And the 76ers making a change here. Simmons has checked in. And Kevin, you talk about your rivals at that big man position. Who comes to mind among guys you played against and have the most respect for? I got a lot of respect for guys in our league. Shaq, Rasheed Wallace, Dice, Charles Barkley, Carmelo, you know. Name a few, this rubber, uh, a ton of yeah, but he closed when quick as shit, yeah. Cream, you know, she Wallace mm -hmm. and Tim Duncan always brought out another side of me. I would say Chris Rebel too, you know, because Chris Rebel is my idol. Um, and those guys brought out the better side of me. Mm -hmm. And I like to think that I dug deeper with those guys I got playing you. up against those guys. If you want to see what you are in this league and all that stuff that you've been practicing and working wow. on in the, in the gym, those players, those moments are going to pull those times out of you. And that's what true essence are. And only the elite understand that. Only the elite understand the matrix. You can slow down and you really are dominating the game on both ends. Different world, different world, different flow, different mindset, different type of character. For Boston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Now how exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dump the basketball. Well, Celtics making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Here's Simmons. He's got six. So they got me sticking Simmons as a power for it, you feel me? Shot and he's shitting on me. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting the shot... But that's what I'm saying. Imagine if he's shitting on me in here. Imagine a part. Outside Irving. 
if I gotta stick like a guard or something. Cause you know in the park. Over to the wing. From 13, Parker tried to throw himself up. No good from Goose. The 76ers trail by 16. Look at him. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the Australian Simmons, a, a star in the making, folks. Thanks really in part to that tremendous skill set to go along with that gigantic frame. The first free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And Kevin, your time with the Celtics, he had the big three. Big four, even when you consider Ranjan Rondo, for him to be a for the ball because he was there. Yeah. So just to think about it, though, we all shared in different types of leadership. Mm -hmm. Paul Pierce was a great leader in all that, uh, what you possess. I was more vocal, more energetic. Ray was more wise and more and more of a learning and understanding of concept and what we were all there for. And constant reminder, and, you know, not to say that you didn't have some young ones buck back or whatever, it's part of it. And that whole thing, we're all learning something. We're all adjoining. We're all sinking each other, good and bad. We're learning how to talk through things. Things that, you know what, you use in your everyday life. Things that we use in our locker room, we were able to take out of our own and use in our everyday life and communicate better and not be frustrated and let you go and hear your point and then hear it from your side. A lot of good points in what we mm, did, man. Seriously, yeah. seriously. Life can yeah. yeah. True growth. True growth yes. when you yes. really think about it, you know? True growth. No time. We talk about force. Al Horford looks at the defense and says, how about this? Here's Simmons. That one misses, and it's Boston the other way. A shot by Hayward, wide open. A shot's good from making the play. Hayward's got his first basket of the night. Continuing to push the action. And yeah, that bitch was right you can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. This the dude's defense, defense is terrible. Up. I'll tell you, he's been one area they haven't had to worry about tonight. He's been scoring at will. The kick out to Irvin. Come on, Kyrie. That's the goose. And Rick. misses it off the right side of the rim. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Knocks it loose. Mercado passes to MB. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Here's Simmons. That's the Hell, he is shit the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. And Kevin, you think about the importance of veteran mentorship for young players looking back. Who provided that mentorship for you? Sam Mitchell, Terry Porter, shout to Doug West, shout to Gene Alvada, shout to you know Christian Layton, all these are my best. They're good and bad. I'm learning something Cash. from all these guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout to Kevin McHale, shout to uh, rest in peace to the great Flip Saunders. These are all my vets who helped me progress as a guy and as a player. More importantly, um, took me under their wing, talked to me about finances, talked me about life, talked me how to be a young man, talked me about being professional, learning this book of business when it came to basketball because when it comes to lockouts and all that stuff, when you have to be able to talk and negotiate your own stuff, you got to know the rules and know what it is. A lot of people don't know that the league is two-thirds of council, and you got to stay above that and understand how this whole monster works. And then, if you want to be in the elite, you got to dedicate yourself in the gym. you got to dedicate yourself in the business. If you're trying to be a, a brand of something, you have to do all these things. When you look at Jordan, you look at Kobe, you look at these brands out here, these, you know, LeBron has a brand, you know, KD has a brand. You have to invest in yourself to be able to, you know, grow this. This is the elite. I'm not talking about average. I'm not talking about good. I'm not talking about great. This is the elite. These are people that's going to be on and people that you're going to remember you know, for years to come. Sounds like a lot. Sounds, Sounds like a lot on the plate, though. True, huh? true legendary. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Yeah, well, this shit is all right. 
But I might be like you this year. I might just be on career, bitch. Here's <laughs> Goose. Second chance effort. That shot missing. Simmons with an effect. Damn, that shit, bro. The 76ers trail by 20. And the wide open shot from Reddick. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Reddick's got seven points for the quarter. Austin's got now 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Outside Irving. The three trains it from beyond the arc. Irving's got nine points. Kevin, can you be great playing NBA basketball and not love to play the game of basketball? I think it helps, man. You know, to love something is to do it with that love, to do it with that passion, to do it with that effort. You know, I can remember my grandmother and being there cooking with my aunt. And they'd be in there singing, and they'd be dancing, they'd be tasting, and they'd be good mixing. Memories. They have great memories, and, you know, and you would come in there, and it was just a good time. And that energy and that, that spirit, if you will, or that vibration, whatever was in her cooking, and when you taste the food, it was magical. So how wonderful. I like to think that when you play, or when you practice, or whatever you're doing with that love and that passion, with that appetite, but that whatever's in your mind or whatever that picture is that you're chasing, you're doing it with that passion that I'm loving what I'm doing. And when you do it with that passion, it shows it's radiant. And people see it for what it is, straight up. Shoots off the screen, and that's good. Number two, 11 points in the game. Boy, this guy has been transcendent this quarter. Something really lit a fire underneath this guy. KG, I wanted to give you a special thanks for joining us, helping us with the call tonight. Uh, you always have a seat at this table to broadcast any of our games. Oh, man, thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate you letting me come through, man. It was an honor, man, seriously. I'll do it again soon. Let me know, man. That's Let me KG. Know. That's, the, that's the great Kevin Garnett. My dog. And always a special occasion to have KG with us, Doris, a guy who really brings it every time we speak with him. Well, his enthusiasm is contagious. This guy is a leader on and off the court. There's a vibrancy, a joy that he brings that was key to his success as a player and how fun as a broadcaster. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jalen. Austin making some changes. Smart comes in for Jalen Brown. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Then for the 76ers, Muscala, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Robert Covington comes in for Wilson Chen. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for J.J. Reddick. Passes it to Muscala. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Muscala has got his first three points of the game. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. And here is Rozier. Hayward, right side. Got a piece of it. Covington with a steal. McConnell with it. Over Rozier. Here's Covington. Raylan Brown has been leading the charge for Boston. What didn't he do in that quarter? A fantastic all-around effort. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Simmons in this game. He's been everywhere. And I'll tell you, his work on the blocks in that first half, really impressive. Well, he made them pay down there. He uses his size and body well to score close to the bucket. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. On the court right now for the Celtics. Filling out the wings, it's Brown and Hayward. Horford is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Irving and at the point guard position. A responsibility to us and being the focal point of an offense. What characteristics have you seen 
are shared among NBA players who carry the load offensively for their teams every game. Right. This is a great separation point to me in the NBA because there are a lot of outstanding players at the level on any given night in the NBA. But Kevin, there is a select few players who are willing to share the lion's share of the responsibility. Men like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook. Like, you have to be prepared 82 times per year to step between the lines, shoulder the load, and sometimes when you underperform, to bear the... And that one, good. 16 points for Jalen Brown. This is what he does for this team. Provides consistent scoring that helps him get the lead and keep it. And guys, he's not an easy to what? stop when he's got the rim in his sight. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Tatum passes to Hayward. Tatum with a screen on Covington. Hayward... An easy layup after coming off the pick. Hayward's got his second basket. That's three of four here to start the half. McConnell kicks to Simmons. Over Tatum. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, the offense stuck him a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Boy, excellent start to this second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Simmons inside, guarded by Tatum. Great communication on the alley-oop. Hey, guys, really admire how Simmons finds the open man consistently with the vision, the unselfishness. That's what you want to see out of him. The pass to Irving. Hit by Horford. Irving passes to Horford. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Well, you've got to understand how to use the screen to your advantage. And Jason Tatum, yes, sir, that's in my game, too. McConnell kicks to Simmons. Over Tatum. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist by McConnell. McConnell's got his eighth assist here tonight. Pass to Horford. There's the pick. Hit by Horford. Tatum passes to Hayward. Tatum with the screen on Covington. Here's Hayward, and he got the whistle, so we'll have a three-point play opportunity. You know, Kevin, Gordon Hayward had to pay the price in the gym, and now his strength allows him to score through aggressive defenders. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Celtics, and the 76ers also making a change. Sharch has checked in for Simmons. Free throw good from Hayward. Well, Gordon Hayward seems to get better and better every year this guy is in the NBA. And the thing maybe that's my favorite about him, he does whatever is requested to put the team in a position to win. And McConnell gets it to go. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Gwen. And to me, that's all about the body control, right, Greg? I mean, he does such a stellar job sizing up this man and drains it despite having the size on him. The 76ers trail by 19. To the middle. Here's Sharich. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Pass to Tatum. Over Sharich. Let it with the rebound. Well, with the defense laying off him, you know he's going to pull the trigger. They're lucky he didn't burn him. Sharich outside. And B the screen. McConnell kicks to Covington. And a miss there on the triple. And there's the call on Joel and B. And that'll be his third foul so far. Marcus Morris has checked in for Jalen Brown. Johnson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Boston leading by 17. 
And we talk about someone being thrown into the fire. Tatum called on early by the Celtics as rookie year. That's right. With the injury to Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum was placed into a very prominent role. And how impressive was he with the poise and the polish throughout the year? Really incredible. There's the pick. Outside, Reddick. Charge just screen on Hayward. Reddick passes to Charge. Here's Hayward, and the whistle blows to a chance here for a three-point play. Well, Gordon Hayward has an interior game that is solid. He's outstanding using his height and his touch on the interior. This trip is his second to the free-throw line in this one. Fault, he's checked in for T.J. McConnell. throw drops by Hayward with college basketball expanding the three-point arc out to fever range doors you went with Jordan set the table you think for the NBA to move its arc their three-point shooting line out as well I think one of the things that I would like to see Kevin is a more unified game across countries right we've talked about the NBA and basketball in particular becoming a more global game I think one thing that I'd really love to see at the lower levels of basketball and the formative stages is young players have to play with a shot clock. Because what that forces those players to do is be three-tool players. Under duress of a shot clock, you better be able to put the ball on the deck, make a pass, or take a shot. So I think the more we can normalize a set of international rules, the better basketball is going to be long-term. Hayward on the way. Pass to Tice. Back to Hayward. Shoots over Reddick. No good on that one. And Philadelphia the other way now. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Covington dishes to Sharich. Bolts gets to Sharich. Back to Bolts. Reddick against Hayward. On deep. And Boston with the rebound. 22 with their biggest lead. Pulls it from 20. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his third assist on the night. The 76ers trail by 21. Now Fultz. He's got seven. Outside, Reddick. Johnson sets the screen for Reddick. And stolen by Hayward. Here's Irving. This one on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Come on. That is remarkable work from Kyrie. Ridiculously crafty at how he gets into the defense and draws the foul. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Goose comes in for Tatum. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Mike Muscala is checked in for Philadelphia. Chandler comes in for J.J. Reddick. Covington passes to Fultz. Charge a screen on Rozier. Now here's Fultz. Defense right on him. Out to Chandler. Six on the shot clock. Over Morris. And that one goes off. That's a difficult shot, and if he could do it again, I think he definitely would pass it off there. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Well, guys, last season started with that horrific injury to Gordon Hayward's leg. Now, it's been a long road back for him, but he took part in the encouragement he received, not just from his family, but from so many well-wishers. Ted, you still in here? You realize how lucky you are to have people from all over supporting you. Guys? David, I think everyone is rooting for his complete recovery. I'm about to Thanks for that shut this shit off. Smart's checked in for Irving. I don't know I had to do something on the computer real quick. <laughs> 